Hello everyone and welcome to Blender Savage. So today I'm going to show you how to make a floating island. So let's get started. We're going to start with our, with our default cube here. We're going to take this bad boy into edit mode. So you go down here in the bottom header and click on object mode, select edit mode. Or, you, or remember you can hit the tab key, you can toggle between object mode and edit mode. I'm just hitting the tab key on the keyboard. Alright, so here I am in edit mode. Uh, so what I want to do is subdivide this. So I'm going to hit subdivide right over here once. There we go. So subdivided it. By subdividing, I get extra vertices, extra faces. And I'm going to turn on the proportional editing tool, which is down here, the little gray button. And left click it, select enable. There we go. I can also hit the O key, O for Oscar on the keyboard, and I can, and I can toggle, toggle it off and on. Okay. But I don't want it blue. I want it on. I'm going to use it. All right. <clears throat> First, I'm going to hit uh, 7 for top view. There we go. A to deselect. And I'm going to select these vertices right here. Also, I'm in perspective mode. I want to go to ortho view. In perspective view, I want to go to ortho view. Hit the 5 key on the number pad. There we go. 5 key on the number pad. I'm in ortho. Make sure number lock is on at all times when using Blender. All right, so I'm going to select those vertices here. I'm going to select the ones not on the corners, the ones on the center. See, these right here. So not the corner ones, not the corner ones. So I selected one. I want to select another one. I have to hold on the shift key as I right-click the other one. So remember, you right, you uh, select objects with, by right-clicking in Blender. Right-click, right-click. There we go. And I'm going to scale these outward. S for scale. There's my circle. See that circle? That's how far I'm going to scale. That's the area of influence for the uh, proportional editing tool. So I'm going to leave it right about there so it covers up my entire cube. All right, so I already hit the S key for scale. And I can manipulate that circle by spinning the mouse wheel. See? Spin the mouse wheel, bam. All right. I'm going to type in 1.4 enter. There we go. I just scaled up the top of it. I'm going to push down on the mouse wheel. So I'm not going to spin it. I'm going to push it down. The third mouse button, the mouse wheel. See? So I got that going on there. I'm going to hit 1 for front view, A to deselect, and then Z to get the wireframe. I'm going to select the bottom part here, B, border select. I'm going to hold on the left mouse button and drag across from there. There we go. I selected all those bottom vertices there. 1 for front view again. Now I'm going to scale this inward a little bit, S for scale, and move my mouse inward. I'm going to extrude a bit, E to extrude, pull down, yeah, that looks good right there. Left click, S for scale, scale inward, and there we go. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to A to deselect, A to select all, and I'm going to subdivide this. I'm going to subdivide this four times. One, two, three, four. Here's subdivide in the tools panel, and I'm going to triangulate everything. So I'm going to go for a low polygon look. I'm going to do Control T. There we go. So I should have a bunch of little triangles on there. I'm going to hit uh, Z, take off the wireframe so you can see a little better. There we go. See? A to D select. All right. Now I'm going to create my mountain peaks. All right. So I'm going to go down here inside the bottom header. Or actually, let's color it first. So I'm going to A to select all. I'm going to go over here to the properties panel. I'm going to look for materials. I can't see materials right now, but if I hover over these buttons, over these tools, I can spin the mouse wheel and I can pull them out. I can also just make the panel wider. Hover over here between the 3D view window and the edge of the panel. Hold on the left mouse button and just drag it out. See? While my cursor come a double sided arrow, and that'll allow me to uh, manipulate the size of the panel. All right, here's materials the orange BMW logo. It's supposed to be a marble. All right, so I'm going to create an earthly color. So I just click the materials, then you, I can double click inside there where it says materials, material, and I can rename it, or I can click in here as well, double click, and rename it. So I'm going to call it Earth. So always give your materials uh, descriptive names by the colors or about whatever they're coloring. So I'm going to go down here to diffuse, the white around the rectangle below diffuse, left click in there. Here we go, and I'm just going to get this color wheel, and I'm going to left click over here somewhere. There we go. And over here is the value. I'm going to bring it down towards the center. Make it darker. There we go. It's a good earthly color. I'm going to click Assign. Assign. So I just assigned it. I can't see it right now. 
You can have the wireframe on. If hit the Z key, it'll turn it off. Oh, sorry, it was on. It said everything's selected. It's glowing. So I'm at A to deselect. There you go. Now I can see it. So the Z key toggles between um, the wireframe and solid view. And now I'm going to color the grass. So I'm going to go over here to face uh, face selection. Here in the bottom header, the cube with a little face highlighted. Left click it and hit the Z key again for the wireframe. All right, when it's transparent, it should be black and white. Hit B for border select. I'm going to select just that top layer of faces right there. That looks good. All right, one for front view again. I'm going to create a green color. To create a new material, always hit the plus sign. Plus sign, and then you don't forget to do that, or you end up re recoloring your old material. So I'm going to click right here inside materials. I'll call it grass. Go over here in the white rounded rectangle below the fuse. Left click in there and create a green grassy color. That looks like grass to me. Click a sign. There you go. Left click a sign. Hover over here. Hit A to deselect. Z to got the wireframe. There we go. I got some grass. All right. So face selection doesn't look so neat. So I'm going to switch over back to vertices selection down here. There we go. All right. So I'm going to hit 7 for top view. All right. And then I'm just going to right click on the vertices up here somewhere on the top half. I'm going to pull these up later. I'm going to create mountain peaks. So I have one selected there. I'm going to hold on shift so I can select another one. I guess I'll select this one and I'll select this one over here. Just any three random ones. So I just uh, right clicked on one and I held on shift as I right clicked on the other two so I can get three three mountain peaks. These are going to be my mountain peaks. I'm going to pull them up. So I'm going to go down here to pro pro the proportional editing tool. Uh, click on this icon right here. It looks like the people's eyebrow. Left click it. I'm going to go to random. Random. There we go. One for front view. All right. I'm zoom out a bit. Hit G for grab, and I can pull these up. Hit Z key, so I can pull up along the Z axis. So make sure at first you hit one for front view. You can do this on the front view, and then G for grab, and then Z, so you can pull these along the Z axis. See my white circle? That's the area of influence. It's kind of like a big influence. It's kind of messing my whole island up. See, I can just spin the mouse wheel, change the uh, area up, make it a little smaller, so I don't completely manipulate my whole little island. That looks good right there. Left click there, all right, and then I'm just going to right click on one of these circles here. Sorry, on one of these vertices. I'm going to bring one lower, I'll bring this one lower, and then maybe I'll make this one a little lower too. That way they're all the same size. Right click this one, bring it up higher. There we go. Maybe a random one over here. Pull that one up. This random one here. There we go. And I'm pulling it up by holding down the left mouse button on the blue arrow. The Z axis widget, arrow widget. Left click, hold, drag. There we go. Make it a little higher. All right. Now let's say I want to create snow here. I'm going to hit A to deselect. Go back to face selection. All right. Hit Z for the wireframe. Then border select just the top part of this. Just the top peaks right there. B for border select. Left click, hold, and drag across the top. There we go. So I got these mountain peaks selected. I'm going to hear, go over here to the materials icon, materials menu. Click on the plus sign, plus sign, and then you. Remember, plus sign and you. Every time you want to create a new material, a new color, I'm going to call this one snow. Snow, there we go. Go inside the fuse. So the default color is already white. So I want to make it a little brighter, so I'm going to pull this all the way up. There we go. So now it's a little more white. And then I'm going to click a sign. There we go. So I just made that white, hit the Z key to take off the wireframe, A to deselect, there's my little snow peaks, back to vertices selection down here, all right, I'm going to left click there, sorry, right click that vertices, decimal key, zoom into it, there we go, spin the mouse wheel, all right, not too shabby, looks very mountainous, all right, so now, oh look, if you get something like this, is there some brown in there, if you have a face up here that's brown, but you want it to be green, you can just change it by uh, holding down the left mouse button on the face selection here. And then you can right click it and then click on your material. You can change the color of it. See, if I want to make that earthly color. Click a sign there. There we go. You know what I think? I'll make these mountains. I'm going to make them brown. So I'm going to A to deselect. Z for the wireframe. B for border select. And I'm going to drag across here. 
And make sure you don't go all the way down because you're going to get the grass down there. So right above the grass. So let's see the edge of the grass there. There we go. I'm going to go, oh, earth. It's already selected. Select earth. And then assign. Here we go. A to deselect. Z to take off the wireframe. That looks neater, right? So leave it like that. Once you've got some green back here, you can just right click that one. Hold on shift. Right click, right click, right click, right click. It's taking too long, so I'll just border select it. Border select. There we go. Earth. Assign. There we go. AD select. And same thing right here. Border select. Just those faces there. Earth. Assign. All right. Deselect. I'll let that go right there. Check out the other side. And to spin around like this, I'm pushing down on the third mouse button. I'm holding it down. I can spin around. Here we go. Cool. All right. So I'm going to make a, a little river here, a stream. Submit seven for top view. Let me go and zoom out. Oh, look, there's a green one right there. Right click. Oops, didn't get it. Let me zoom in. Got you. Earth, assign. Bam. All right. Zoom out. A to deselect. Mid C for circle select. And um, once circle select is activated, anywhere I left click, it'll select those faces. Okay. I don't want my river to be that wide. So I'm going to right click, turn off the tool. A to deselect. All right. Hit C again to select. Make it a little smaller. Spin the mouse wheel. Make my circle smaller. And I'm going to create a river that starts around here somewhere. And this looks good. I click hold and drag across. And have it come out like this. There we go. Maybe I want to get that one. I want to get some of that. Some of that there. All right. Left click. Left click. And then right click to turn off the tool. If you want to deselect an area while circle selection is on, you can also hold on shift and left click and it'll deselect it. All right. So I'm going to create a blue color. I'm going to make this blue. So I'm going to go over here to the plus sign and then new. And I'm going to call this color water. It's going to be water. Water. Go inside the white round the rectangle below diffuse. Left click in there. Get the color wheel. And select the bluish watery color. I guess you can make it kind of green. You want some green water, some brown water, some red water. It's your island. You can make it however you want, right? Click assign. Boom. So now that's blue. All right. See, these are kind of just floating in the air. I'm going to go take care of those in a bit. But first, I made one for front view. I'm going to zoom in. And I want this kind of waterfall down. Push down the mouse wheel. I want to see this area here. All right. Hit A to deselect. And then C for circle selection. I'm going to select these here. Zoom out. Oops. Right click, turn off the tool. Zoom out. Spin the mouse wheel. See circle selection. And just kind of let it waterfall a little bit down here. Looks good. Right click, turn off circle selection. Assign. There we go. AD select. All right. So now I'm going to have to color these brown over here. This water is going up. Water doesn't do that, right? At least not here on planet Earth. Could be coming from up there, but that just looks too weird. All right, so I'm gonna color these right here. Maybe I'll leave those other ones colored. I'll leave that one colored there. Ah, uh, guess I'll make it brown too. All right, Earth assign. There we go. Make sure there's nothing else over there. Cool. A D select. There we go. So now it looks like there's water coming from over there. Alright, so now I'm going to hit down for top view again. See, for circle select, make the circle really small. And I'm going to select the, um, the faces around the water, the ones that surround the water. I'm going to make those brown. Right click, zoom out. See, circle selection. Left click, hold drag around. There we go. Same thing over here. And remember, you can always go back and recolor your faces. There's just going to be the dirt on the uh, edge of the river or the stream, whatever you want this to be. Let me go over to Earth Select then. Oops, my tool's on, so I'm not going to be able to do this over here. So I'll right click to turn it off. Move your mouse out of the 3D view in the right click. There we go. Earth Assign. There we go. AD Select. 
All right, I want to make these blue over here. So I'm holding on the sh shift, right click, right click, right click, right click, right click. I'm holding on shift as I do this. I guess I could just do circle selection as well. Get my river back to its uh, closer to the original width. There we go. Turn off the tool, right click, water, assign. There we go. So it looks pretty narrow on this side. A D select, C circle selection, and just drag it across there. There we go. Bam. Right click, assign. Cool. Uh, you know what? This one's bothering me right here, so I'm gonna make this one blue as well. Right click. Water assign. Uh, there we go. So with the tab key for object mode, check that out. Cool. Looks neato. There's one for front view. Oops, one for front view. There we go. Pushing the mouse wheel. Cool. Now let's make some trees. Now I have uh, discovered this easy, really quick method to make a pine tree. Saw a few uh, tutorials online. So I'm gonna. Here I am in object mode. Make sure you're in object mode. One for front view, it's gonna left click up here. Shift A, bring in a mesh cube. There you go, that's my cube. Hit the tab key for edit mode. And make sure your vertice selection, vertice selection. There we go. S for scale, scale it inward. Let's turn this tool off, so just hit the O key. There we go, it's off. You can also just go to disable there. Hit the Z key for the wireframe. And then A to D select, the border select, just the top here. And there we go. Make sure you do that uh, with the wireframe on by hitting the Z key. Now I'm going to merge these in the center. And I'm going to make a pyramid. See, because it's a cube. Oops. There we go. See, it's a cube. One for front view. I'm going to do alternate and M. There you go. Brings up my merge menu and select at center. And it's going to merge also all those four vertices at the top at the center. And there we go. Bam. See, got yourself a pyramid. I'm going to one for front view, and then I'm going to border select the bottom of it here. Well, first I'm going to hit A so I can get out of the way of the island down here. A a couple times, pull it up. Cool. A to the select, a B for border select. Select the bottom here, I'll make a trunk. So I'm going to do um, E to extrude, and then S for scale, and move the mouse inward. So you can see the vertices right there from the extrusion. And just make them whatever looks thin, um, thin enough that looks whatever looks what that would make a good trunk. Uh, that looks good for me right there. Left click. All right. Now I'm gonna E to extrude again and just pull it down, and you can make your trunk as long as you want. Uh, that looks good right there. Left click. Zoom out. I'm gonna right click the top right here, the top vertices. I'm gonna use this left um, the Z axis arrow widget, the blue arrow. I'm gonna left click, hold it, drag it up, get a point in your pine tree. There we go. It looks like a lot more like a pine tree, right? I'm going to go over here to face selection and then border select just along here, the center of the, of the top part. Boom. Make this green. So I'm going to go with a different green color than the grass because then it'll just blend in and it'll be a little hard to see. So I'm going to hit the plus sign and then new. I'm going to call this one pine green. Pine green. Go inside the fuse. And I think I'm going to go with a darker green color on this one. So I'm going to pull value down. A little too dark. That looks good. Assign. There we go. A D select. And I'm gonna make a wood color for the uh, the trunk right here. B border select. Just get the bottom part here. There we go. Plus sign. New. And call this one. Let's call it wood. Wood. Oops. There we go. Go inside here. Diffuse. Create a light brown color. It's kind of orangey. Let me bring down the value here. Let's we'll move it up. Uh, I'll settle for that. Assign. There we go. Z to make a solid view. A to the select. Cool. There's my pine tree. I'm going to go to uh, object mode. Tab view. Sorry, tab key. There's my giant pine tree. Set for top view. Zoom out. I'm gonna put it over here on top of my island. By using the arrow widgets. Left click called drag. 
There we go. One for front view. Decimal key to zoom in center. Let me zoom out and I'll bring it there. Move my mouse away from it. Hit S for scale and just scale it downward. Pull it up again. Move it all to the side. S for scale. Scale it downward. There we go. Decimal key. Zoom in center. Cool. That's a front view. Three for right view. Seven for top view. Cool. So seven for top view. And you can see the um, the top of it here. I can create duplicates from it here. Shift D. Move it over. Left click. Rotate tool. There we go. That way, when you place them around, they don't look um, exactly the same. It doesn't look so uniform. It looks a little more natural. Shift D to duplicate. So hold down the Shift key and then hit the D key briefly, then release and move your mouse away. See, there's my duplicate there. Place it there. Rotate again. And I can also resize these. So I'll make another copy here. Shift D. Move it over. Move the mouse away. Hit scale. Scale it inward. Rotate it some more. But um, also because I scale it down, it scaled down proportionally on all sides. So now it's probably not touching my island. It's probably floating in the air. So I'm at one for front view. Let me zoom in. Three for right view. Oh, that one actually is on my island. Cool. And then Shift D, make a duplicate there. Rotate it. Shift D, another duplicate there. Another rotation. Oops. Let's see. There we go. Shift D. Maybe scale this one up a lot more. Or for front view, make sure they're all actually on your island. Oops, this one's in the air, see? Bring it down, bam. I don't like that big one right there. I'm gonna put this one towards the back over there. Using the arrow widget, see? There we go. Shift D, make another duplicate there. Rotate it, scale it down. Shift D. Shift D. Scale. Realty. Little small ones here. Little brother pine trees. Cool one for front view. Zoom in. That's some more. Let's check that one out. Cool. Looks like a good amount of trees. <clears throat> Alright. So I'm going to make a, a cloud. So left click up here again. Shift A. There's all in object mode. Mesh, let's bring in an icosphere. Icosphere, so I got this giant sphere. And let's give it the snow color. So we're in the materials uh, menu. Click on new. And then you can actually click on the materials icon here and select snow. There we go. So you just made it that same snow color. So I'm going to move the mouse away from it, it's still selected. S for scale. Move the mouse inward. And there we go. Now I'm going to decimate this cloud here. Go to decimate here. Add modifier. Decimate and let's go with the uh, see what 0.4 looks like. 0.4, it's not bad. Hit apply. There we go. So I just reduce the amount of faces on that cloud. It's awesome. It's seven for top view. Zoom out and bring my cloud here on top of my island. One for front view. Cool. Now I'm gonna scale it downward some more. All right. Now I'm gonna create uh, some duplicates of this cloud. Shift D. Shifty, sitting in Shifty, moving them around. Cool. I'm gonna select this one. I'm gonna scale it down along the Z axis. I'm gonna smash it down. S for scale, and then Z. You just kind of squeeze it. You even want to make it longer. S for scale, then Y. So you can pull it out. And then this one over here. Let's see. I want to make uh, some puffy clouds. I can Shift D for duplicate. Move this one over. Scale it down. Put it off to the side somewhere in there using the arrow widgets. There we go. Make a duplicate of that one again. Shift D. Pull it out. Scale it up. Shift D. Pull this one there. Maybe scale it down. Shift D. Pull that one there. Scale it up. That's for scale. Move it inward. Scale this one up too. So there we go. Got like a poofy cloud. I want to join these. The border select just those right there. Got those together. Control J. There you go. Those are joined. Center for top view. And I'll move this bad boy over here. That's for scale. I can also rotate it. So you can do that. R for rotate. I think I'll leave it how. Well, I'll make them point that way. There we go. Cool. So there's these right here. I can scale this one uh, down too. Shift D. Move it over. And scale this one up. Move it out. Cool. 
Shift D, put that one there, scale up. Oh, looks good. You border select just those right there. Control J join. That be that way they become one object. There we go. And then this one, what do I do with that one? Mm, I guess I'll scale it down as well. As for scale, Y, drag it out. Cool. That looks good. I don't want to do too much with that one. Actually, let's make a duplicate of that one. I'll put it right next to it. Shift D. That looks a little more different. I'm going to rotate this out the other way. There we go. Join these together. Control J. Cool. So I got uh, four different types of clouds there. Let's put them over my island. Set for top view. Make sure they're there. I'm going to put this one back here. Let me scale it down some more. Look pretty big. Put that one back. All right. So my river looks kind of boring too. I'm going to select my island. Tab key for edit mode. All right, one for front view, zoom in. And I'm gonna select these faces here. So I'm gonna be border select, just select the blue faces. There we go. Hold on, shift key, border select, really small border selections here. And I'm gonna leave those alone. I'm gonna get rid of those later. I'm gonna color them different colors. Select these right here. Bam, all right. Three for front view. And then, uh, sorry, three for right view, E to extrude, and then Y, extrude along the Y axis, and pull this out forward. He's pulling it out, I'm going to straighten it out, R for rotate, and then just pull it out, make it, make it vertical. There we go. Make, give it a better look. The waterfall is actually coming out of it. Or for rotate. Oh, you know what? That was good right there. Let's do that. And I'll pull it down with the blue arrow. There we go. Cool. So these were the ones I didn't pull out. So I'm going to color these brown again. Shift. Right click that one. Hold on, shift. Right click the other one. Go back to materials. And we'll make those brown earth. Assign. Cool. These ones sticking out right here. I'm going to make these blue. So I'm going to hold on the shift key. I'll right click these. Water. Assign. Move it over to the other side. Right click. Hold on shift key. Right click. Right click. But you know this one down there too. Right click. Come on. Right click. There we go. Right click. Right click. Right click. Push down the mouse wheel. Let me check these out. Right click. Right click. Cool. Water. Assign. There we go. And now I'm going to select some of the center faces along my river. I'm going to pull those inward. See for circle select, make it really small. And try to select only the ones in the center. If not, it's okay. There you go. Not all the way into my piece. Right click, turn it off. Cool. Three for right view. And I'm gonna pull it down slightly with the blue arrow. Oh, that's too much. Let's pull it back up. Cool. Now I gotta pull these down too, then, right? I'm gonna go to edge selection. And I'm just gonna select these edges here. Actually, all of these edges that are sticking out right there, and then pull them down. There we go. And there we go. Tab key for object mode. There's my river. All right, so now we're going to render this, see how it looks. So I'm going to go down here, click on the uh, white circle, that solid view. Left click it, select rendered. All right, so we're in the shadows. I'm going to bring in some more light in here so we can see a little better. So I'm going to go down here to render view again. Go to solid view. All right, seven for top view. There's our light source right there. I think it looks like a dan dandelion. I'm going to bring it in closer. And down here is a specular. I'm going to uncheck that box. That's just going to make it reflect how we don't want it to reflect. So I'm going to uncheck that box. Cool. All right. So here's my uh, lights were selected. I'm going to make dupli duplicates of it. Shift D. Move one over here. Shift D. Move one over there. And try to keep on one side 
don't put too many on the opposite side. That way it looks a little more natural. Like light's only coming from one side, like the sun. 50. And put that one there. I'm going to want to light the bottom of it too. So I'm going to one for front view. Just notice all those are up there. I'm going to shifty. Bring one down here. Shifty. Bring one there. Shifty. Put one there in the middle. And then I'm going to zoom out. Do shifty. Put one way over here. Just in case. There we go. Now let's go to rendered. There we go. There we go. Right click it. Decimal key. Zoom out a little bit. Push in the mouse wheel. Spin it. Sorry, not spin it. Push in the mouse wheel and move your mouse. There we go. Cool. Let's check out the island. I'm hold on the shift key and spin the mouse wheel. So I can move up. There we go. All right. I'm going to go back to solid view. Let's say I like this view. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to hold on, control alternate zero. That's a camera view. This is what the camera sees, sees here. Um, it doesn't see the clouds. I want to see the clouds. So I'm going to zoom the camera out. I'm at 7 for top view. Zoom out. There's my camera right there. I'm going to right click it. And I'm going to pull it out with the green arrow right there. Let's pull it out some more. Zero for top view. There we go. Let me move the frame up. So I'm going to do shift F. There we go. Hold on. Shift and F. There we go. I still am not getting the view I want. I want to get the other clouds. Or actually, how does this look? Let me check it out. So I'm going to do F12. Oops, sorry, not F12. It put me on airplane mode on my phone, on my uh, computer, sorry. Let me just go to rendered right here and see what I get. Uh, I don't like that view. Back to solid view. All right, set for top view. Move, the, move this back some more. All right, zero again for camera view. Not bad. Let me rotate this. So one for front view, there's my camera. I'm gonna rotate it uh, this way. There we go. Set for top view. Pull it out some more. See for the camera view. Cool. Shift F for frame. And move the mouse. Left click right there. It looks good. Let me check this out. Rendered. Spin the mouse wheel. You know what, maybe I don't like that view. I don't want it tilting over. I'm going to go back to solid view. And then one for front view. And I'm going to rotate my camera back. R for rotate and adjust it back. See for camera view. Cool. Shift F. Center this. You know what, let it cut off that cloud up there. Cool. Let's see, rendered. There we go. Let's say I want to save a picture of this and go over here to render. And I'm going to scroll down. PNG file, that's okay. And I'm going to click on this icon here. I'm going to go to desktop. Save this on the desktop. Island. Accept. There we go. And then scroll back up in here. Click on render. <clears throat> rendering and then go to image save image as island save as image cool I really have to save my image I think I saved that on their downloads though I should have saved that on their um, desktop let's see save image as it's in my documents. I want it on the desktop. There you go. Save as image. Cool. Now it's on my desktop. So there you go, folks. That's how you make yourself a little quick island for beginners. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.